Good evening everyone. Nag ready. Iran Shah. Life is good. Saha, Shweta and many more who are all online. <coughs> 2nd January, another 48 hours we are frontline to take the exam head on head head on head collision right so i hope guys yesterday early morning up to almost 1 30 2 o'clock we had been laboring and uh, i hope that uh, you're all fully ignited and motivated right so every day tomorrow and day after tomorrow also afternoon a couple of hours and uh, midnight masala a couple of hours 11 to 1 pm you know, I, I promise to give you the company, right? So prepare in full spirit, high spirit and only spirit of energy. Let's make the great beginning. Continuing our journey of June 2019 FMG. What is the narrowest part of the larynx in children? Subglottis. Infant's larynx is underdeveloped in the cricoid cartilage so subglottic area is very narrow whereas in the adults it is the glottics which is the narrowest part is what you need to remember now doctor whenever you put an endotracheal tube in case of adult versus infant one important principle if the age of the child is less than eight years better place a endotracheal tube without cuff because if you blow the cuff at the tip of the endotracheal tube necrosis of the trachea because the pressure is a complication that is greater complication in the case of uh, the infants is what you need to remember so less than 80 years uncuffed endotracheal tube is preferred fully developed cricoid cartilage typically develops by 10 to 12 years of age that is what you need to remember a glasgow coma scale one ransom's criteria one gustalo anderson criteria one criteria based questions nahi diye to examiner nahi leta similarly oral carcinoma staging doctor abba Examiner will kill by asking that question. You have to mug it up. Similarly, inner board classification, another favorite area of the examiner. Okay, doc. So, a confused patient is being brought, opens the eye with painful stimuli, extends the arm on unilateral side, on needle prick. What is the GCS in this patient? 8 by 15. So, Eye opening, spontaneous is 4 to speech is 3. Ramaya, Ramaya, Uto, Ramaya, Tera Beta, Agaya, Ramaya. He is able to open eyes, that is to speech. To pain, you are pinching, then no response at all is 1. Ramaya is oriented to time, person, and place, 5. Confused is 4. Inappropriate words, 3. Incomprehensible sounds, uh, 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 that is 2 and no response is one then motor response ramaya heart to utaya always command moves to localized pain five flexes four abnormal flexion three abnormal extension two no response is one that is what you have to emphatically remember now doctor which anemia do you see in rheumatoid arthritis Anemia of chronic inflammation, which is a normocytic, normochromic anemia. Inverse retinitis pigmentosa, varebha. I am listening to the first time. The first time, so many times, I have been studying retinitis pigmentosa. The first time, I have been studying inverse. I have been studying inverse. I need to go refer and then review. Okay, who is going to be the correct answer? Question number 134. Deepika, good afternoon. Mohan Babu. Come on, punch your answers. Inverse retinitis pigmentosa. 
Jagadishwari is proposing bony spicules. Bony spicules are there in the delicate pigment also. Inverse may specialty can. Gagan Kube, I am very sure you are going to be a topper, Gagan. Perfect stone throwing. X linked Gagan Kube Jindabad. Good evening, good to see Indira. I'm so happy by the time I wake up in the morning, I quickly check how many views are there on the YouTube video. Almost all 1700-1800 views are there within about 8 to 10 hours. I'm so happy. Also, when you guys write a comment, comment on the video, please take a opportunity to write a comment underneath the video. Uh, that also makes me really feel very good and very happy, right? So, um, now doctor, retinitis pigmentosa, X-linked, absolutely. Inverse retinitis pigmentosa is the degeneration of the nerve cells in the macula. See doctor, retinitis pigmentosa mein kya hota? Tunnel vision. What is the meaning of tunnel vision? Regular wala retinitis pigmentosa. Regular retinitis pigmentosum, what will happen? Tunnel vision, that means all peripheral vision is gone and only central macular vision is only there. Reverse of that is what? When retinitis pigmentosa is X-linked inherited pattern, typically the central is lost and what you have is only the periphery. That is called Inverse retinitis pigmentosa, which is typically X-linked. And rods are the ones which are affected in retinitis pigmentosa significantly. Regular retinitis pigmentosa. Inverted retinitis pigmentosa may central part of the retina who is there? Cones. So cones are the ones which get affected is what you have to understand. So Central retinitis pigmentosa is called inverse. It is bilateral, symmetrical, loss of the cone function. Also, there is a reduced rod function. So, a normal person is looking like this, the menu. Right? Somebody whose central, central vision is affected, typically will have a scotoma and he will have a vision like this is what you need to understand. Maximum content of vitamin A, halibut liver oil, routine question. Nesopharyngeal carcinoma, what does it lead to? It lead to eustachian tube block. So you know very well any elderly person with a eustachian tube block, you should always look forward for any possibility of Nesopharyngeal carcinoma. 30 year old patient presents with pain. Very good. Gagan Kube reminds Nesopharyngeal carcinoma radiotherapy. Badia. 30 year old patient pain in the right hypochondrium, tender liver, intercostal tenderness. Whenever he is breathing at the time of inspiration, he is catching pain. He has a non productive cough. He is emaciated. What is the possibility? Come on, who is going to give me the correct answer? Question number 137. Ditto, ditto, same clinical vignette of this foreign medical graduate exam question will come in the tomorrow's NEET PG. What are you going to answer? Come on, punch your answer, doctor. Tarun Mahajan is proposing hydrotic cyst. Saha, Bolre, Adenoma. Bhavya Bolre, hydrated cyst. Come on, come on, give a try. Non productive cough. Abhilasha Bhagat is proposing hydrated cyst. Why are you thinking hydrated cyst, first of all? What is, is there anything classical in hydrated cyst in this? Right? Uh, Gagan Kuber uh, Abba just missed. Just missed. Uh, Ernol. Ernal Jindabad, Jagadishwari Jindabad, absolutely. Amoebic liver abscess. Amoebic abscess develops after attack 
of amoebic dysentery. Anemia, loss of weight are first to appear. You can see this guy is typically looking pale on examination. Patient looks pale. That is an important clue. Fever up to 39 degrees Celsius and uh, pain usually felt over the right lower intercostal space is a classical feature. So amoebic liver abscess is the most common extraintestinal manifestation. Typically right upper quadrant pain, fever, liver tenderness is a classical presenting feature of the amoebic liver abscess. One of the most common laboratory finding leukocytosis without dystrophilia. Elevated alkaline phosphatase, mild anemia, elevated ESI, they are all the classical features. Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now, Jack in Box. Who is a Jack in Box? Kabi circus gaye na. So suddenly from box he nikalta hai, hello, then he'll go into the box. Hello, he'll go into the box. Jack in box, right? So where do you see that kind of escotoma? Punch your answer, doctor. Punch your answer, right? So aphakia. So this guy is the jack in box. So typically, whenever you happen to do a cataract extraction and the patient has become aphakic, aphakia. Then the object will look as if it is jumping in, jumping out of the field. Whenever it is moving in and out of the ring scotoma. The ring scotoma created by the FA, which is present in aphakic individual. What is an abductor of vocal cord? Very standard exam, doctor. MCA screening test need PG. Right? So what I'm trying to tell you is don't expect a miraculous uh, uh, things in exam. A need PG examiner cannot afford to give that, that kind of a question paper. Why? Because those who are having service quota, primary health center, they will be writing the exam. Eight them freshers are writing the exam. So that is the reason uh, you can't go at a DM super specialty level mein nahi ja sakte. Standard topics hai, 1953 topics. I am very happy some of you have done the WhatsApp to our helpline and requested for uh, the uh, what you call uh, PDF. I hope you all received the PDF of the 953 topics. Then uh, um, also you got included into our WhatsApp study group. We have 20,000 plus students in about 80 WhatsApp study groups. Every five minutes we will be punching questions. Keep you fully awake, abreast, alert for the entrance exam. You get a lot of good study mates there. Then uh, next three days until uh, Sunday, we are conducting an open house. Open house is you will get a activation free activation of the entire video library test series everything of the online mbbs.com please take an opportunity to take it uh, of course we are not too generous we are not uh, we are very much commercial so after that we want you to subscribe to online mbbs.com video library Tell your juniors to subscribe to the onlinembs.com video library. So posterior cricoiridinoid is the abductor. 50 year old female, redness, painful, sudden loss of vision, sudden loss of vision, colored halos. What is your diagnosis? Punch your answer doctor. Punch your answer. Sir, amoebic liver abscess, why cough? Good question. So it is an irritable cough because of the subdiaphragmatic uh, pathology. Which number to contact? 
नाइन ट्रिपल जीरो एट सिक्स एट थ्री फाइव सिक्स प्रणति प्लीज कॉल नाइन ट्रिपल जीरो एट सिक्स एट थ्री फाइव सिक्स ओके डॉक्टर प्लीज कॉल एंड देन टेक नो वन मोर थिंग करेंटली आई एम सिटिंग ऑन दैट प्रोजेक्ट एंड वर्किंग आउट what is that i'm uh, doing now is they go doctor everyone starts preparation at one or the other point of time now what is the main challenge when anyone starts preparation you know the evolution no i mean uh, porifera sealant rate platy helminth is nimandi helminth is like that preparation for neat pg or fmg is also like an evolutionary process of the darwin aap amoeba level mein hai cement rate level mein hai reptile level mein hai avian level mein hai pehla you need to get a diagnostic uh, uh, acumen what topics you are good what topics you are not good that is the most important thing to realize so there are 10000 mcqs in the fmg of the last 15 years if you take fmg if we happen to take every question identify which topic it belongs and uh, we classify all the questions bring all questions under one topic arrange them in descending order there are about 600 topics in 19 subjects so i want to create 600 quizzes not subject wise topic wise in the descending order of priority this particular topic about 60 questions are asked that will be the first topic whatever subject it belong doesn't matter so 600 topics 600 quizzes are being organized which we call fmg scanner right so any student start preparation first to take uh those 600 quizzes and chumma uh, ex tempo attend uh, solve the 10000 questions see which topics you are scoring more than 50 right 50% marks similarly if we take the all india last uh, 15 years there are about uh, 15000 questions and uh, aims last 15 years there are about 6000 questions so this 21000 questions also will fall into this 953 topics we will create 953 quizzes in the uh, online mbbs.com video library just take this quizzes highest number about for example oral contraceptive pills almost 140 questions have been asked in the last 15 years only from aims and all india so when you start preparation for neat pg it is not about subject to subject book to book and all that what is examiners most preferred areas so first start first solve all questions on the oral concept to pills khatam you are ensured one mark then you finish all questions which have been asked about anti epileptic drugs you finish with one mark like that in the descending order of the priority you should complete batting all the 953 topics that is the whole idea so i am going to create a diagnostic scanner for you with uh, topic wise uh, quizzes of all questions asked under that particular topic in all india aims in the last 15 years i am going to uh, provide you that um, uh, that entire story so you can tell your juniors there is no other place that they really really need to look for online mbbs.com is east and west we are the best because we are we work like students not like teachers to spend time with you so doctor this is acute uh congestive glaucoma now doctor you should know whenever the patient is having a red eye red eye uh Aman is asking, sir, please give a pep talk on how many questions attend. Say, doctor.
Master, it is all a question of uh, simple honesty. You never heard, you never, you never know that particular MCQ. No point in attempting. That's all. It's a abstinence from the selective call of the examiner, right? So, red eye. If there is a ciliary flush, ciliary vessels. Think of iridocyclitis, acute glaucoma, corneal inflammation, keratitis. They all lead to red eye with a ciliary flush. Conjunctival hyperemia is very non-specific. Then opacification of the cornea and red eye. Think of iridis, corneal edema, acute glaucoma, keratitis and ulcer. Pupillary abnormalities will be found in glaucoma and iridocyclitis. In case of the glaucoma, you have a mid-dilated pupil, mid-dilated pupil, then a shallow anterior chamber and red eye. That should make you to think of acute angle closure glaucoma. Red eye with elevated IOP, it can happen both in glaucoma and iritis. Red eye with proptosis, think of thyroid disease, orbital or cavernous sinus mass. Then red eye with preauricular lymphadenopathy, viral conjunctivitis and perinodes. Oculoglandular syndrome is what you need to basically remember. Then decreased visual activity with red eye. We see in iridocyclitis, acute glaucoma. Pain, red eye. Painful red eye is keratitis, ulcer, iridocyclitis and glaucoma. Photophobia and red eye, iritis and conjunctivitis, not in glaucoma. Colored halos are the feature of acute glaucoma is what you have to emphatically remember. So, doctor, mainly conjunctivitis versus corneal ulcer versus acute iritis versus glaucoma. You need to differentiate when our patient presents with red eye. This ke pehle bhi hum bahut baar discuss kar chuke, fir bhi aur ek baar. Conjunctivitis, usually both the eyes. Corneal ulcer, one eye. Acute iritis, one eye. And uh, even glaucoma, one eye. But conjunctivitis, both. Vision is normal in conjunctivitis, whereas decreased in all others. The eye pain, Typically, conjunctivitis means gritty, foreign body sensation. Usually, very painful is corneal ulcer. Moderate pain and photosensitive is acute iritis. Severe pain is acute glaucoma. Discharge is sticky if it is conjunctivitis. Watery corneal ulcer and uh, iritis and even in glaucoma. Only conjunctivitis may the secretions will be Sticky is what you should remember. So, conjunctiva. Redness is most marked around the cornea in case of corneal ulcer and also in iritis. Generalized redness is a feature of glaucoma and uh, conjunctivitis. Then, how about cornea? Conjunctivitis may cornea is normal. But corneal ulcer will lead to one grey white spot. If you happen to do fluorescent staining, it lead to grey white spot. Hazy cornea because of the edema is a feature of acute glaucoma. Right, Doctor? Okay? So I leave this literature for you. Uh, so you need to remember that in iritis, what you get is small pupil. Whereas glaucoma, mid dilated pupil. That's how you differentiate. So, colored halos, they are the rainbow colored halos, which are typically seen in angle closure glaucoma, cataract. So, what is Fincham's test, doctor? Fincham's test. If you have colored halos, in both glaucoma and cataract, how do you differentiate? So that disc will be rotating. If it is a cataract associated colored halo, it will break. 
whereas glaucoma it does not. So you can remember, no cataract cow the lens lens break ho na. So it's like a breaking colored halos on pink lamps is cataract, and the one that does not break is glaucoma. Is what you need to remember. Similarly, corneal edema, conjunctival mucus, anything can lead to colored halos. Is what you need to understand. Okay, doc. So good to see ninety one online. Inform your friends to join the session. Most common affected site in Charcot's joint. What is your answer? Come on, punch your answer. Deepika is saying foot. Mohan Babu, Arnold, everyone, very much. So both the feet, there is a collapse of the midfoot arch due to Charcot neuropathy, arthropathy. In this case, this patient is an alcoholic peripheral neuropathy. Alcoholic with peripheral neuropathy is what you should recognize. Diabetic nephropathy. What is the characteristic lesion? Kimmelstein, Wilson's nodules. The Kimmelstein, Wilson's nodules. The loss of migration of the neural crescents. Which is the disorder among this? Hirschsprung's disease. Hirschsprung's disease is a problem, a defect in craniocaudal migration of neural crests because neural crest cells are the ones who are the precursors for the enteric ganglion cells. So Hirschsprung's may count the doctor absence of myentric and submucosal ganglion cells. And uh, a ganglionic segment become non-functional and the proximal bubble segment become dilated. So that is what you need to understand. Now, doctor, Tolosa Hunt syndrome. Very good. Gagan Kube reminds Hirschsprung is the part of the men to be syndrome, is what you should remember. Tolosa Hunt syndrome. Where do you see? Typically, it involves apex of the orbit. So, what is Tolosa Hunt, doctor? Inflammatory granulomatous process of the cavernous sinus with extension into superior orbital fissure and orbital apex. It is an inflammatory granulomatous process. That's the point you need to appreciate. So, obviously, it presents like a relapsing unilateral painful, painful ophthalmoplegia and it is responsive to steroid therapy is what you should remember. So how do you describe Tolosa Hunt? Episodic. Ata jata, ata jata, dur ki rishtedar. Unilateral, orbital or retro-orbital pain. Average of 8 weeks if you don't treat. Cavernous sinus ko involve ho rena. That is the reason what will happen. There will be ophthalmoplegia involving. Second, fourth, sixth within the first two weeks. If you give steroid, prompt uh, response will be there. So that is a Tolosa hand. You can see very close to the cavernous sinus involving the apex of the orbit. This granulomatous inflammation is basically called Tolosa Hunter syndrome. Now, doctor. A child has Chinese fries and rice. After 9 hours, he got diarrhea. Chinese fried rice, what do you do? Bacillus serious. Once more, there is a kitra standard paper hai. foreign medical graduate, MCA screening test. Ka. Screening, bole to, ideally, it should be like this only. Right? One question on food poisoning, doctor. Staphylococcus. Bachelor serious, clostridial, what is their uh, uh, incubation period? Definitely put a diagram there. WHO obesity index, which one? Quetlet index. So, doctor, there is a Broca's index, 
एंड बॉडी मास इंडेक्स बीएमआई को क्वेटलेट बोलते वेट इन किलोस हाइट इन मीटर स्क्वायर इफ यू आर ओबीस द क्वेटलेट इंडेक्स इज मोर देन थर्टी मोर देन थर्टी इज वॉट यू नीड टू रिमेम्बर सो ए आइडियल वेट ऑलवेज इज अकॉर्डिंग टू ब्रोकास इंडेक्स द हाइट माइनस वन ओ फाइव will give you the ideal weight ideal weight say double hai to you are called morbid obesity and uh, 20% more than ideal you call overweight so obesity is a global pandemic baithna padhna baithna padhna by the time neat pg exam is over you will discover you are 4 5 kg overweight so that is the reason doctor play while you play read while you read that should be the game and with murli bharadwaj you can even play while you read that is our uh, deal okay khelte khelte topper ban jayenge rot spots where do you see infect endocarditis ab be doctor favorite question of the examiner modified dukes criteria examiner zarur puchega एक मरतबे एक व्हाइट वॉश डालेंगे चलो टिपिकल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म फॉर द इनफेक्ट एंडोक्राइटिस इन टू सेपरेट ब्लड कल्चर पॉजिटिव ब्लड कल्चर इज ए मेजर क्राइटेरिया सो व्हाट आर दोस टिपिकल ऑर्गेनिज्म वेरीडॉन स्ट्रिप्टोकाई स्ट्रिप्टोकस गैलेटोलाइटिकस हेसे ग्रुप स्टाफ ऑरियस then uh, community acquired enterococci now persistently positive blood culture that is blood culture drawn more than 12 hours apart then uh, single positive blood culture even if it is single for in case of coxella pernicii or uh, the igg antibody titer more than 1 is to 800 so that is all positive blood culture ka story hai then second major criteria kya hai evidence of endocardial involvement any positive echocardiogram any new valvular regurgitation which is developing that is endocardial involvement so when you call definite possible rejection to major criteria blood cultures plus echo one major criteria plus three minor criteria or five minor criteria that become definitive one major plus one minor or three minor signs possible possible and when it is called rejection criteria what is rejection criteria for infective endocarditis doctor resolution of endocarditis syndrome with antibiotic therapy even less than 4 days may resolve ho gaya to that is not endocarditis so what are the minor criteria doctor five minor criteria you have to be 100% sure any predisposing heart condition vsd pda coagulation all high pressure lesions injection drug use fever is a second second minor criteria vascular phenomena tell me what are vascular phenomena major arterial emboli septic pulmonary infarct myocardial aneurysm intracranial hemorrhage conjunctival hemorrhage jenave lesion what is jenave favorite question of the examiner it is a vascular phenomena that means due to embolic phenomena then what are immunological phenomena fourth minor criteria glomerulonephritis oslers nodes rot spots rheumatoid factor so don't forget osler node rot the spot they are not vascular what are they they are immunological immunological phenomena is what you should remember kal ke exam mein definitely puchega exam mein which is vascular embolic phenomena which is immunological phenomena osler rot immunological jane away vascular 
then microbiological evidence that is positive blood culture not meeting the major criteria that is what you should remember now doctor <clears throat> what is the determining factor of tetralogy of fallow oh my god this is my professor's favorite question i took my md general medicine from uh, a great teacher called professor shantanam sir he is the father of the cricketer lakshman almost he is like a god for me i don't even, I, i may not get time to go to temple but if i am really undressed i really go him and uh, spend 10 15 minutes time he is now 75 still he practices 8 hours so that is the kind of passionate physicians so always during rounds he used to ask this question tetralogy of fallow murli what mat mari you are listening sir systolic murmur sir acha beta systolic murmur kyu hota hai tetralogy of fallow may you know that there is one vsd there is also one pulmonic stenosis by mistake if you say vsd no khatam he used to completely make you to parade nakedly right so they are all wonderful teachers they used to hold the hand make you feel s3 s4 pericardial rub murmurs wow great teacher right so always remember tomorrow viva was my favorite question of the examiner even when you are going for md general medicine final tetralogy of fallow may systolic murmur is not due to vsd it is because of the pulmonary stenosis point number 1 point number 2 what is the factor that decides the prognosis ultimately who decides is it the vsd is it overriding aorta opening mouth into both left ventricle right ventricle dono mein open karke mouth baithega kaun aorta is it or is it pulmonary stenosis what should be your answer pulmonary stenosis decides the prognosis pulmonary stenosis ke wajah se systolic murmur pulmonic stenosis is a determining factor of cyanosis is what you have to basically understand so doctor tumor lysis syndrome you should all remember one thing when you tomorrow join md you know i'll tell you uh, because a good number of you are next week by monday you are all md md may when you join md no doctor first 3 months your boss knows better than you he is a old fellow he had been seeing patients he know all standard questions answers and uh, situations but you are knowledgeable guy knowledgeable minus experience that's the only difference within 3 months there will be from a left to right shunt you will going to right to left shunt typically you will uh, you are like a pulmonary hypertensive you have both academic knowledge because you are very current in uh, knowledge additionally you also understood what are the protocols how to manage eclampsia preeclampsia what to do when when a patient of hysterectomy is posted when a patient of dka comes from third month onwards you will start pouring back from left to right it become right to left and ultimately you will realize that post graduation is nothing uh, nothing a big deal it is nothing but under graduation plus social skills you should know how to talk with patient sit with patient open his stiffen box put food in his mouth talk nicely with him make him give your shoulder for him to cry help him go an extra mile to help him and then keep trying interventions fail and then redo the intervention 3 years they 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 can like a 3 minutes it is over then you became consultant and entered into a commercial world which is more cruel let me tell you when we are in academics that is the happiest thing commercial world you need to compete there are a lot of pressures people die people don't want the below to die but you can't help it because you are not lord yamadharma raja so that is the reason doctor 
enjoy enjoy every moment this is the moment you need to enjoy because this is the happiest time safest time and most melodious time okay doc now tumor lysis syndrome may you have acidosis hyperkalemia hyperuricemia but what do you have hypocalcemia is what you see so typically hypocalcemia hyperphosphatemia hyperkalemia hyperuricemia is what you need to remember surjan is asking sir is neat paper is this much basic questions these are so easy and predictable dekho surjan if you prepared very well any question will look easy only these are the topics remember topics is something you should be very sure these are the same topics even for neat pg only the depth of the question slightly different that's the only thing right there are also some very good questions uh, that will make you feel clean bold and cry even in fmg question paper also so doctor anderson gastillo classification grade 3b come on let us check uh, srijan bede what is your answer for this question what is your answer for this question srijan is caught red handed let me check what is srijan's answer come on srijan 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 we want srijan jagadishwari is saying intramedullary nailing abhishek also Mohan Babu also come on come on punch punch your answers which which way we will leave the questions as a quick guess so that you won't forget in the tomorrow's exam Srijan where are you my colored guy cool guy Sunil Patel ha <laughs> so <laughs> doctor intramedullary nail wiring 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 right now let us see what is gastillo anderson doctor lot of times this question is asked in uh, the previous neat pg also type 1 2 3a 3b 3c you know what is meant by a open wound that means there is a fracture along with that the overlying skin everything is uh, opened up that is open open fracture the open fractures are being divided into 1 2 3a b and c by gastillo and anderson it was a low energy minimal soft tissue damage wound less than 1 cm type 1 higher energy laceration more than 1 cm minimal contamination type 2 high energy adequate soft tissue cover 3a high energy extensive soft tissue stripping inadequate cover massive contamination 3b vascular injury which required repair is called as 3c so based on the energy wound size soft tissue injury contamination comminution soft tissue coverage vascular injury the open fractures are divided by gastillo anderson football eliana screen shot le lo कल के एग्जाम में भी एग्जाम क्वेश्चन पूछेगा बी वेरी श्योर सो टाइप वन डॉक्टर टाइप वन टिपिकली द वूड साइज इज स्मॉल कितना है ये लेस देन वन सेंटीमीटर ए बोन स्पाइक इज प्रोट्रूडेड नो क्रशिंग ऑफ सॉफ्ट टिश्यू नॉट कम्युनिटेड फ्रैक्चर लो एनर्जी ट्रॉमा टाइप टू वूड साइज इज मोर देन वन सेंटीमीटर नो स्किन फ्लैक moderate crushing moderate comminution low energy type 3a so since it is the image based uh, exam examiner can even give you one uh, actual wound fracture ask you to comment on which type of gastillo anderson so type 3a large wound more than 10 cm extensive contaminated fractured bone covered by soft tissue fracture is comminuted high energy trauma type 3b large bone fractured bone can't be covered by soft tissue periosteal stripping severely comminuted fracture pura pieces pieces ho gaya high energy type 3c 
it is large not adequate coverage of the bone as what you can see vascular injury which need to be repaired severely comminuted severely comminuted with high energy trauma so doctor how do you manage these open fractures and wounds you need to do irrigation if it is type 1 you have to use 3 liters type 2 6 liters type 3 9 liters you have to use for irrigation similarly antibiotics gustilo type 1 and 2 open fractures first and second generation cephalosporin gustilo type 3a 3b 3c 5 days amoxicillin clavulanic or 5 days third generation cephalosporin if there is any potential fecal contamination piperacillin, tazobactam, carbapenem are the ones which are used or a third generation cephalosporin plus metadazole so this is how you will put antibiotic bead this is called antibiotic bead pouch technique is what you should remember so when do you do external fixation of these open fractures if there is any severe contamination or a periarticular fracture right like distal radius or elbow dislocation then when do you do internal fixation if it is a periarticular fracture like the distal proximal tibia proximal ulnar and radius acetabulum and pelvis and uh, shaft diaphyseal fracture also you use it you also use plates for the open diaphyseal fracture right so this is how you will apply intramedullary plating which is considered to be treatment of choice right doctor this is intramedullary nailing nailing so intramedullary nailing so diaphyseal fractures in lower extremity go intramedullary nailing is the one which is basically done so this is in short doctor right, right. now what is the most common anterior mediastinum tumor come on punch your answer easy question no big deal thymoma myocardial infarction much more high yield topic without mi there is no paper and uh, you got a mi question and you said oh my god kind of a feeling you got no then you are not for that exam you are not for that exam you have to attack there is my mi question yes here tuck, 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 tuck. that is how with that attacking spirit you should go to the exam that will only happen if you prepare not book to book book to book that uh, sar is coming and uh, doing revision all that is waste you have to do revision not sars will do revision sars will anyway do revision unka pura jindagi revision kar rahe how you prepare is important how you prepare is not subject to subject like that out of the 953 topics take them in the descending order obviously your confidence level keep increasing as you are finishing the dirty homework so contraception highest number of questions come first shuru karte hi shuklam bhradhanam vishnum sashivatnam chatur bhujam start with oral contraception first topic should be that uh, right so like that in the descending order of the priority based on the past 15 years of question bank you should approach and the moment you are done 953 topics 20,000 questions cover on the online mbbs.com video library we will be creating 953 quizzes topic wise quizzes in the descending order of the priority keep taking the topic before and after preparation check how are your scores and keep on going down the uh, topic list and say I am done with all 953 topics in the descending order of priority that should be the spirit okay doctor now doctor troponin test troponin T 67.3% sensitivity 73.8 specificity it has the highest sensitivity specificity of all the tests is what you need to understand Abhi aagaya. Batti mar ne wala cheese aagaya. 
Keen walk disease. Come on. Punch your answer, okay? Quickly punch your answer. Good to see 112 online. I want 200 plus. Please call your friends. So, Shweta is saying Lune. Excellent. Chirag says scaphoid. So, lunate. So, doctor, is kobula nahi. Leg cap partis. Capital femoral epiphysis. Free back. Second metatarsal. Keen walk. Lunate. Colon. Navicular in the tarsal bones. Or she could shatter tibial tubercle. Shrewman vertebral end plates. Football, hello, yaad rakhna. Uh, definitely, aane wala question hai. Doctor, this is free bug. Free bug kya hota? Second metatarsal head. Kal ke exam mein, examiner is going to give you this uh, X-ray. You have to be hundred percent sure. Or yaha kya hai? Lunate. So examiner also can give you this question also. Keen bug. Keen bonk, examiner will say, Isko dekke bolo veda, which osteochondritis keen bonk. Histamine is released by mast cells. What is the most common defect in Downs? It is the ventricular septal defect is most common. Most common site of metastasis to the brain comes from where? Lung cancer, lung cancer. So that is the reason always when a lung carcinoma is detected, you should give them a free abdominal cut also when you are doing the CT so that adrenal meds you can detect, you should detect, right? And a PET scan to know diffuse metastasis. Oshkut Shantler, same exam, two questions on osteochondritis. Tibial tuberosity. So, where do you get? What is the story of Oshkut Shantler, doctor? During the growth spurt, when the bones, muscles, tendons and other structures are changing rapidly, when the kid is having a lot of physical activity that will put a stress on the bones and muscles. Similarly, those who participate in athletes, especially running, jumping sports, increase the risk of Oshgood Shatlet's disease is what you need to remember. Ankur Sharma is saying, sir, can you give 953 topic list? Definitely, doctor. For you only, Ankur, I prepared it. 9000868356. Please uh, call our helpline. Two, three things they will give you. 9000868356. Number one, they will include you into the WhatsApp study group. So that you got wonderful study mates. We have 20,000 uh, serious neat PG, FMG aspirants and every day growing around 1,000 new are joining. Then you will get that PDF. Also, our helpline will give you a free pass into the entire online MBBS.com video library, full activation for the next three days for you to enjoy. So please tell your friends also, uh, they can be able to. Very good, Ankur, I'm so happy. Uh, I'm also a final year MBBS student, not only you. Yeah, I love your reading style as much as you love my teaching style, right? Yes. So doctor, when you will succeed, you know, a good student become the best student when he starts teaching his roommates and study mates and a good teacher become the best teacher when he becomes a student every day and uh, works like a classmate preparing for the exam going so that's a simple rule of life i should become a good student you should become a good teacher then definitely we will both will make it what are the earliest finding in diabetic nephropathy doctor microalbuminuria seat belt injury 
what does it commonly lead to tearing of the mesentery mesentery tearing so this is typically the seat belt sign of the intra abdominal injuries uh, there is a great likelihood of finding this seat belt sign means mesentery injury so you can see that there is a fracture of the clavicle in the seat belt injury then you can also see the presence of a mesentric tear mesentric tear and the bruising of the overlying uh, uh, area whenever there is seat belt injury how much population i know you are going to ask this question sir is it endocardial cushion defect or uh, ventricular septal defect vst endocardial cushion defect see one of the endocardial cushion defect are all septal defects now phc covers a population in plain area kitna 30000 iceberg phenomena where do you see iceberg phenomena typically tb like condition show iceberg phenomena very good alek rightly reminds planes may 30000 hilly may 20000 mohan babu reminds sub center is for every 5000 population see that is the beautiness of our congregation of online mbbs.com video library if you subscribe you not only get uh, videos not only get MCQs, notes, PPT slides, you will get classmates like Alek, Gagan, who will be adding a lot of value addition to your preparation. That is what I can definitely promise. So, Doctor, what are the diseases with vast base? So, there is something called tip of iceberg and the vast base. Subclinical conditions like TB, then uh, mastitis, they are all subclinical, so vast base. Similarly, prion diseases, rabies, like those which have a long incubation period. Then rickettsiosis, like low specific sensitive diagnostic tests, parasitic infestations. They are widely prevalent, but they are not detected. Then which are the diseases with a visible tip? Anthrax, tetanus, rabies, they have less subclinical cases. That's the reason tip may worry them. Similarly, short incubation period conditions like staph, food poisoning, pastoralosis, influenza is what you need to remember. Very good. Alek, one asha for 800. Oh, I see. So, doctor, this is the tip of the iceberg. The visible cases and invisible cases. Invisible cases are all carriers. So, tuberculosis, meningitis, polio, hepatitis A, AIDS. They are all examples of the diseases which show iceberg phenomena. Epidemic dropsy is caused by which toxin? You know, sanguvarin, adjimon oil, folic acid, kitna deta beta pregnancy me, evi wrong karito, Narendra Modi ji, bahut disappoint ho jayega, kya ho rahe, doctors ko, bridging ko shiru karega, if you do this question wrong, 400 MG. Now doctor, which hypoxia, oxygen cannot be utilized, is called histotoxic hypoxia. Once more, what is the favorite uh, question of the examiner? Types of hypoxia, histotoxic, hypoxic hypoxia, anemic hypoxia. Definitely examiner puchega, you should know the differences. What genetic condition may spontaneous abortion will be there? Trisomy 16 may. Virtually, there will be no live-born babies who have trisomy 16. From 1970 to 1995, 500 people were monitored. 
400 exposure to smoking, non-exposed 100. Out of 400 exposed, 50 developed lung cancer. Out of 100 non-exposed, 5 developed lung cancer. What is the relative risk? Right? So, very easy doctor. There are Ganitika class. Exposed with incidence. A. Exposed without disease is B. In our case, exposed and diseased are 50. B. Exposed and not diseased are 400 minus 50, 350. Not exposed and diseased are 5, which is C. And not exposed and not diseased are 100 minus 5, 95. So relative risk is A by A plus B divided by C by C plus D. 50 by 400, 5 by 100. So that makes 2.5. But in the exam, this question will come. Attributable risk will be put in the exam. Then what you should do? A by A plus B minus C by C plus D. What do you do in the fever? What do you do in the fever? ASO Killian's Dixon's is typically between two bands of inferior constrictor. So, Killian's Dixon's is a gap between thyropharyngeus with oblique fibers and cricopharyngeus, cricopharyngeus whose fibers are transverse and thyropharyngeus whose fibers are oblique. It don't know ke bich mein hota hai Killian's Dixon's is what you need to remember. It's called the gateway of tears. Why? Because when you are doing esophagoscopy, perforation can occur there. That's the reason. Now, this is one favorite question, doctor. What are the structures between constrictor muscles? Between the base of the skull and superior constrictor, auditory tube, tensor, and levator velle palatinine is what you should remember. Nayamani is asking a very good question. Sir, are you sure this type of questions will come? Because there will be no pen and paper. How can I do? Oh, you see? They don't permit uh, pen or pencil also. Now, nowadays everything is digital pen. They are afraid of any scam, of Bluetooth uh, scams. Oh my God. You see? Simple thing, Nayamani. Big, big calculations never happen in uh, NEET PG. It will be simple multiplier denominator. For example, if you take this question, right? Yeah, kya hai? Simple calculation. It is 50 divided by 400 by 5 by 100. Hum bachman mein kya padai kya? A by B by C by D is equal to A by B into D by C. That's what we studied now. So 50 by 400 divided by 5 by 100 kya ho gaya? 50 by 400 into A palat gaya. 100 by 5. 100 kitne baat chalega? 4 times. 5 kitne baat gaya? 10 times. 10 by 4 kitna ho gaya? 2.5. Hai na doctor? So that is the reason, don't worry. Uh, so once more I am telling you, Naivani, please review that 8 hours 250 MCQs, biostatistics come and discuss karke rakhana. I don't know whether that time you are there. You are there, I believe. Uh, please take a chance, quickly revise karo. Right? And be ready with those 10 to 12 formulas. Definitely two to three questions from biostatistics. Right? Now, now doctor, 26 year old patient with history suggestive of TB. He has pleural effusion. How do you detect it? LDH, ADA, gene expert. These are the things which are used for identifying the TB. Now, uh, gene expert, 
is a cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test right that is what you need to remember now it can identify the mycobacterial tuberculosis dna and also it can be used to identify the resistance to rifampicin by nucleic acid amplification umbilical artery what does it carry doctor umbilical artery it typically carries deoxygenated blood from the fetus to the placenta so there are a pair of umbilical arteries there are two umbilical arteries one umbilical vein all of you know very well so it carries the deoxygenated blood and waste to the placenta umbilical vein carries oxygenated blood and nutrients from the placenta that's the point you need to appreciate adolescent bolnekelie what is the age group doctor adolescent bolnekelie less than 19 years between 12 to 19 years you call adolescent abnormal schilling's test antibiotics were given for 5 days normalization is there uska matlab kya hai all that vitamin b12 deficiency due to the bacterial overgrowth bacterial overgrowth syndrome so doctor what are the stages of schilling test schilling test is first you want to know why vitamin b12 deficiency is there it can be due to malabsorption it can be due to pernicious anemia that is intrinsic factor production in the parietal cells is not properly there or it can be chronic pancreatitis now tell me doctor why should chronic pancreatitis should lead to development of vitamin b12 deficiency you should know that story betal batao kyo pancreatitis pancreatitis will lead to uh vitamin b12 deficiency betal aur vikramark malum hai na wo kahani kya hai sunao so typically when the our uh, salivary area mein r factors are produced they basically come into the stomach and here the intrinsic factor produced binds with this r factor mainly to prevent degradation of intrinsic factor in the stomach so then this r factor bound with intrinsic factor comes to the area of duodenum that is the place where the protease produced by the pancreas they break down the r factor from intrinsic factor right then only intrinsic factor is available to bind with vitamin b12 so if there are no pancreatic if proteases because the pancreatitis r factor intrinsic factor cannot be separated if it is not separated intrinsic factor is not available for binding with b12 and that lead to b12 deficiency that is chronic pancreatitis then bacterial overgrowth any disease of the ileum where absorption is supposed to occur anything can cause so if it is pernicious anemia or chronic pancreatitis or bacterial overgrowth or ileal disease in sare cheezo mein radio labeled cobalamin containing vitamin b12 levels are low if you add intrinsic factor if it normalizes it is normal it is pernicious anemia pancreatic enzymes the eto normalize hua to chronic pancreatitis after 5 days of antibiotics and normalize ho gaya to then it is bacterial overgrowth which is responsible unfortunately schilling test is no more used right gastroenterologist a gastroenterologist ke paas ja ke pucho bhai schilling test hematologist ke paas ja ke pucho schilling test karte hai kya they will laugh at you so but still entrance exam mein puchega that is a problem now doctor culture media culture media garma garam culture media one question aayega so salmonella ka transport medium kya hai buffered glycerol saline is what you should remember 
So what are the most common clinical features seen in prolactinoma after galactoria? Most common is aminoria. That is the reason, doctor, prolactinoma has a better prognosis in females than in the case of the males. Why? Because prolactinoma lead to aminoria. For aminoria evaluation, the patient will go to the doctor and the doctor will discover high prolactin and early diagnosis will occur. So that is the reason they have a smaller micro prolactinoma stage mein hi pakad jata hai. Kis mein? Females mein. Males mein, wo bahut badne ke baad, optic chasma ko compress karne ke baad, visual defects aane ke baad, detect hota hai. At a very late, right? Now, Dr. World Health Organization ne garba garam semen kya hai? Standards hai, international standards. Future will come where shadi.com or Tinder mein aap upload karna padta semen report also to get a mate. Isliye jada mat padna, need PG ke liye. If you read too much sitting in the reading room, no. Any amount of protection offered by the scrotum is gone. Koi topper bola to, I was studying 12 hours, I was studying 15 hours, don't believe. 12 hours, 15 hours, yeh jaga pe baiht gaye to decubitus ulcers a sakta, oligospermia develop ho sakta, hyaluronization of testis ho sakta. So be very sure about it. So doctor, what is the WHO standard? More than 1.5. The future uh, will come. Oh, are you the nitpiji topper? Oh, I see. Mama, have you collected uh, the semen report? How is it? Because this guy seems to be studying hours together in the reading room. That time also will come. Be careful, right? Uh -huh. Now, doctor, more than 1.5. Count more than 15 uh, into 10 to the power of 15 million. Total count more than 39. Only count is not enough. Sperm should be running like a real neat PG topper. More than 40% motility should be there. And either mother Rajana focused panda motility must be progressive. Vitality must be more than 58%. And a good morphology. Good morphology Rena. More than four. That is typically called the WHO reference value. Now, doctor, Lucio phenomena. Lucio phenomena. Where do you see? Typically in Caribbean, Mexico, me lepromatous leprosy ho gaya to recurrent crops of large, sharply marginated ulcerative lesions. Sharply marginated ulcerative lesions is called Lucio phenomena, which can be generalized. Is what you need to remember. How much is the sodium in ORS? Bara bar answer karna kal ke exam mein. Right? So, examiner will be very unhappy if you don't know that. So, doctor, sodium chloride 2.6 grams per liter. Potassium chloride 1.5, glucose 13.5, trisodium citrate dihydrate is 2.9, total is 20.5. If you look at the osmolarities contributed, sodium contributes 75, potassium 20, right? Potassium 20, glucose 75, chloride 65, citrate 10 and total become 245. So once more, risomal. That is low osmolar ORS versus regular WHO ORS. Difference malum hona chahe. Without question on ORS, need to PG nahi hoga, nahi hoga. Right, doctor? Now, doctor. Uh, <clears throat> uh, now, doctor. Average weight gain in pregnancy is how much? 12 kgs. So between 11.4 to 15.9 kgs. Need 300 additional calories per day. 
first trimester weight gain is between 1.4 to 2.3 kg and uh, average gain is about half kg per week for remainder of pregnancy now 12 year old girl irritability dry mouth slow skin pinch so once more doctor dehydration stages of dehydration severity of dehydration right you want to be very sure on this topic we give ringer lactate IV fluids in case of severe dehydration. Which vaccine will you give in postprenectomy, doctor? Postprenectomy, all capsulated organisms. Streptococcus pneumonia, hench influenza, nisseria is what you have to remember. Very good, doctor. We have done one hour, 15 minutes. Just give me, there are 20 more questions I thought of finishing. Please be online. Our uh, great uh, uh, team might have uploaded a video. Just be online, doctor. Just be online. Let me download the PPT. So doctor, I hope you are all in a good mood for the preparation. Am I right? How's your school man? Don't worry Priyam Madana, we have, uh, I'm leaving this video, so wish you good luck to all our uh, uh, docs, they're all going for a tough exam, you know, just being doctor is not enough, we should be about doctor, that's a big challenge, right, so doctor happiest is always, uh, please meet, uh, Abhinav Bharadwaj is a good singer. He doesn't study. He sings well and uh, he dances well. So there are many wonderful things other than becoming a doctor. But if we become doctor, we need to study a lot. So that is the reason doctor. Whatever be your background, you read, you did not read, doesn't matter. Spend a good time and uh, uh, study in a focused manner. Yeah. Hmm? Uh, one minute. I'm just downloading the video, doctor. Yes, definitely. Uh, More than uh, Facebook, Dr. Atif, um, we are very active on the YouTube actually. Two minutes. Um, what I will do is, uh, I will, uh, one minute I will sign out of the broadcast and once more sign in.